What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you budge out some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a cartoon head for beginners. The whole process. So if you want to know what equipment to buy. Um, how to set your, your artboard up. We finna cover all that today. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first time you load inside Adobe Illustrator, you should click new file. And what I like to do is come over here and change pixels to inches. So just make sure you change pixels to inches and make your artboard 18 by 18 inches the reason I do that because that's a perfect fit inside of um, Instagram make sure Quality is on 300 resolution. You know what I'm saying? So you can get the best quality color mode. I use CMYK Okay, hit create Go click create real quick Okay, now for this process you gonna have to make sure to get this option, you gotta have a um, digital art tablet. I'm using a Wacom, but I will have some recommendations in the link below, so you guys will know what equipment you should buy. And I make sure I have it from lowest price point to your highest price point, so you can figure out what you want to do. But you gotta have a digital art tablet to get this option right here. Hit this drop down menu. Go to new brush and then you hit OK and then you click fixed at the bottom and you should see this pressure where you able to select it. But if you ain't using a digital art tablet, you can't. So this should be grayed out if you're not using a digital art tablet. But I'm using the Wacom, so click pressure and hit three and change that number to three. So if you was ever wondering what brush I use for every video, that's all I do. I just change the pressure. Turn pressure options on. Now, when I start every picture to make a cartoon head, I go look for the picture I wanna use on my desktop. And all you do is you just drag it and you drop it in there. You know what I'm saying? I grab the edges by holding shift because if you don't hold shift and you grab the corners it'll change the um picture it'll warp it look see this me not holding the corners so it deforms your picture so control z to go back see control z now hold shift and it'll keep everything in proportion and just change the size. Okay. Let's make that a little bigger. And while we still got to select it, you come up here to opacity and you want to bring that down. This is good enough where your line work can sit on top. After you do that, you come over here to your layers and you lock that layer so you don't make a mistake and um draw on top of the layer you know so let's make it a little brighter real quick so we can see it right, that's cool lock that layer create a new layer right above it by clicking this plus and then come over here to your brush here go my settings too. I'm finna double click my brush so you can see uh, fidelity. I keep it in the middle, but if you want some more help from the computer to make cleaner lines, all you gotta do is move this up. So what this will do, once you move this up, it'll just help you correct the jitter side of your lines. You see that? It'll clean your lines up for you. So the perfect balance is just to keep it in the middle. So hit OK, and then Control plus to zoom in, and Control minus to zoom out. So 
I like to zoom in. And I, I start, most of the time, I start with the nose. So, And I'm just using pressure where I press down hard to get a, a thick line. And then I press light to get a smaller line. So it's just a method. So I'm pressing down light, pressing down hard, and then I'm pressing light. Close that off. Come over here. Another thing too, if you want to stroll up and down, is the ball on your mouse. In the middle, you just stroll it. And if you want to stroll left and right, if you want to stroll vertical, you just stroll. If you want to stroll left and right, you just hold control as you move that ball that's in the middle of the mouse. So that's how I get around. <clears throat> Those shortcut keys are very important, man. Let me see. Bring this over like that. Bring this over like this. Come down to the lips. Every time I'm doing like the lips, I make sure I close the lines off. So we won't have no problems when we doing our color method. It's because it worked like the paint bucket tool. If you have any like cracks open, it won't color the area you're trying to get to. So I make sure I close off every little opening. See? Boom. Make sure that's closed off. Come up to these eyes. Make sure you close the line. Make sure you connect in all your lines. Okay. Bring this over like this. Bring this back. Do the same thing. Close this line. So, okay, cool. Now, let's go to the brush size and make it a little bigger. We'll do like a three point. Let's make it like a three point so we can do the outline of his face. Make it bold. Okay. You know what I'm Draw his ear. Outline of his ear. Just like this. Come to this side. Same thing. All right. Let's bring this. Trace this hat real quick. Close off my little line for the hat. Zoom in up here. We can do the little holes in the, the snap part of the hat. Let's 
snap back. Boom. Let me see what we looking like. Okay, cool. Looking clean so far. Um, right click your brush tool. And then you want to come to this pencil tool. Double click it. And make your settings inside of your pencil tool look exactly like what you see right here. That's what you need to make them look like. After you do that, you want to click OK. And then come down here to this little color menu and hit this little switch to bring the color black to the top and make sure your bottom one is locked. Now what we finna do, all these black areas around the picture, we finna use that pencil tool as a fill tool. So we gonna go through and we gonna fill all that in. So all you do is draw out the area you want the color black to fill in. So. I'm drawing out the area. Uh, once I finish and close my line, it's gonna fill it in. So that's what we're gonna do. Go through, draw out our area, and then come back, close it off, and it fills it in. Come up here to his eyebrows. Come through and it fills it in. On this side, do the same thing. Draw this eyebrow. And fill in. Boom. Come to this brim of this hat. Fill it in. Go to this side and do the same. Come to that brim and fill it in. Come over here to his nose. So the pounce and the brush too. They go hand to hand, man. Like Batman and Robin. When they come to making these cartoons. Let me see, bring this over. We're gonna fill all this in. Make sure we close, close that little piece off. All right. Fill all this in like that. Come to this side. Do the same thing. Fill this in. We almost finished with the line work. Remember what I said, make sure you closing these lines. Closing them off. Like so far, okay, it's coming together, y'all. Now, what I'm finna do, I'm finna draw out his sideburns and his edges. I mean, his edges, I'm talking about some sideburns. All right, bring that on up. This side do the same thing. Let's keep that same flow going. Okay. Cool. It's good. Come right here with this part. So do another one. <clears throat> Close this song. Boom. Okay. Now we 
pretty much got our line work. pretty good right here okay what you want to do you want to <clears throat> you want to highlight everything then you want to come to object expand appearance and then you want to come to window and go to your pathfinder and on your pathfinder click merge what that's going to do is going to make all your lines become one you know what I'm saying? Then you want to come over here to your layers, drag your line work layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy. Lock the top copy. Select the bottom copy right here. Then we're going to look for like a color brown to start out with. Or if you don't want to look for no colors. If you would like to purchase the Chi World Skin Tones, the link will be in the description below. Okay, so let me come over here to the swatches. You want to go to your, this is how you install them too. I'm finna, um, I got them saved on my desktop. So I'm finna click this, go to other library, go find wherever it is that on your, on your computer. Let me see, mine's. Alright, in this folder right here, Chi World Skin Tones, and then they're going to pull right up. Okay, bet. Let me um, select the color I want to use. After you select that color, you want to come over here to your rectangle tool, and make sure your color is at the top, <clears throat> and the bottom one is locked. Drag the color over the entire picture and let me um turn the eye off right here so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm on the, the second layer we made of the line work and I just drag the color on top of that picture. So now I'm finna right click the color and go to arrange and send to back. So now it's gonna be behind the line work. After I do that, I highlight everything. And I click merge so the color can become one with the line work. Now after I do that, you want to right click the color and go to isolate selected group. So any area that's closed off like these lips is going to be its own group. So we can change those colors individually. So select this outer color and hit delete because we don't need that. Select these lip colors, and we got some on our skin tone layer palette that we can use. So we ain't gotta take the time out looking for some lip colors. And um, let me change this. Hold shift the color more than one thing at a time. Change the eye color. And let's change this hat color. Like this, I'm holding shift. And we're gonna make that hat color just like that. Okay, cool. Now that we got our cartoon head colored, we're gonna drag that color layer to this blank sheet of paper and make a copy of the color layer. Lock the bottom color and turn the eye off right now on the bottom color. Go to this color layer that's in the middle. Click this drop down menu twice. And we're gonna stroll down till we see the last black line work right here. And we're only locking the black line work. So we're just locking all the black line work. And we're going to keep these top two unlocked. And we're going to close it. 
and we only gonna delete the skin color out of this layer so right click it go to isolate select group and let's delete the skin color delete this and now we can turn this eye back on on the bottom layer we can lock this layer as well and we can turn this eye on at the top layer too create us a blank layer create new layer and put it in between right here now I can teach you guys how to do your shadows I went ahead and made a made a little sheet for you guys to see how I'm doing things. Let me pull it up on the stream. Okay, here go our original photo right here, uh, ASAP. We're gonna focus on two tones. We're gonna focus on the dark tones right here. That's on his the left side of his face. And then we're going to focus on the right side, which is the lighter tones. I'm not going to get too far into detail with this tutorial because just like I said, it's for beginners and I don't want to lose you guys. I want you to be able to keep up and see what I see. So eventually you won't need me when you're trying to figure out how to find shadows and different tones for yourself. I went ahead and made a look a shadow chart sheet so as you notice when I was looking at this picture I noticed it was a dark tone right here so that's where we put our dark tones at right here it's a dark tone inside of this ear on this side so I put one right there it's a dark shadow right here on that top lip at the bottom so that's where we put our dark tones and so far so what we finna do is we finna copy this same little sheet right here that i created and we gonna follow along and for this uh video i'll make sure i drop this picture and i'll drop these uh this little shadow sheet i made for you guys in the description below as well so you'll be able to use it as like training wheels kind of like so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm looking at so you can get a, a clear image of what I see with my eyes. So just like I said, it's the dark tones on this side. It's a little dark tone on the um, right side of the, the eye area right here and in that inner ear. So, all right, let's go to our dark tone real quick. Let's go to the pencil tool. Make sure your color is at the top and the bottom one is locked. I do all my um, shading and shadows using my pencil tool. So, this is where the pencil tool come in handy. Remember that one dark tone I was saying that was on this side of his face? Let's go ahead and knock that out. It's just like this. Bring this up like that. And boom. Now we're going to come to this side. And we're going to bring these tones on over like this. And it's going to come up like that. And take your time, guys. Don't try to, don't try to rush because you see me going through through pretty fast just keep in mind i've been doing it for a long time so don't let my speed intimidate you you know what i'm saying you're gonna get there just stay practicing just bring these shadows over like this and boom bring this tone up like that I'm going to bring this down. And just like I said, I'm looking at my little reference I created. And I'm looking at the photo. You know what I'm saying? So. Bring this over. Like 
that. Spraying this tone. Oh, wait. And this comes up. Spot in his ear, so it go like this. Let's bring this over. Bring this over like that. On this side, remember that dark tone I was telling you about inside of this ear. Add that right there. And there's one more dark tone right here. Now we created all the dark tones. That's on our picture. Make this a little more smoother. Right there. So now we're gonna go a little lighter with our tones. So let's create a new layer. And make sure every time you come lighter with a tone, you you put it underneath the tone that's darker than it. So since that's a darker tone and we finna go lighter, we're gonna make sure this layer falls under that darker tone. And let's go lighter with our tone. And the reason we tuck them from dark to light, so it'll fall right behind the layer. You know what I'm saying? And make your job easier by just knowing how to place it in your layers now we finna focus on these lighter tones on this right side of the face bring this over like this um it's a lighter tone right here it go like this thing we finna do let's create us a new layer right underneath the top line work okay we're gonna create a shadow inside of the eyes right here Remember I said it was a dark shadow on this top lip. So let's, um, let's find a dark tone. We'll use this one right here. And let's create that shadow. We just gonna come up like this. Boom. All right. Last but not least, to give it some flair, create a new layer right above everything, right above your line work and all that. So what we gonna do? Let's create this little dark tone, and we gonna create like a little glare in the eyes, like this. Then we gonna. Let the color white. 
gonna go like this. And there you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head for beginners. I will be having some more videos that'll get deeper into depth with detail and all that. But just like I said, we're gonna start out slow. So all you new beginners out there can, you know what I'm saying, keep up. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure y'all leave a comment of what you would like to see next. Go ahead and run them likes up. Thank you guys. Make sure you stay tuned. Mohit coming soon, and I'm out.